I'm coming live to you from St. Stephen's Church today. Uh, today is the feast of St. John the Evangelist. Yesterday, we would have celebrated the feast of St. Stephen, our patron year, but the feast got suppressed in favor of the Sunday liturgy, which was the feast of the Holy Family. Today is the feast of St. John the Evangelist and also St. John the Apostle. The text of today, which I will not be reading, is taken from John chapter 20, verse 2 to 8 and talks about uh, the moment after the resurrection where John and Peter come to the tomb and find um, the body of Jesus not there. But uh, looking at today, today is the third day in the octave of Christmas. The church celebrates the feast of St. John the Apostle and Evangelist today. St. John the Apostle, the son uh, of Zebedee, and the son of Salome. How do we know this? Look at your text in your Bible. You'll see this in Matthew chapter 4 verse 21, in chapter 27 verse 56, also in the Gospel of Mark 15, 40 and 16, 1. Now, uh, St. John was one of the 12 apostles of Jesus. We know this. The mention also in scriptures of the hired men in Mark chapter 1 verse 20 uh, and of St. John's home in John chapter 19 verse 27 implies that the condition of both Salome and Zebedee uh, and their children was not one of great poverty. Remember that we are told that when they left their father, when James and John left their father, they left their nets and they left the hired help, which means that they had workers, they had people who worked for them. And so this indicates that this was not a family of poverty at that point of time, but they were rather well off compared to many other Galileans in this area. Now, we know that St. John was born in Bethsaida. He was called while, as I said, mending his nets and he was called to follow Jesus. John was called to be an apostle by our Lord in the very first year of Jesus' public ministry. He is considered the same person as John the Evangelist, John of Patmos and John the Beloved Disciple. We are just different names for the same person. We also know about John's older brother who was St. James the Great, another one of Jesus' twelve apostles. Jesus referred to the brothers together as Boanerges, meaning the sons of thunder. John is believed to be the longest living apostle and the only one not to die a martyr's death. If you go for mass today, you'll realize that for all the other apostles, we wear red vestments because they died as martyrs. John, we have white vestments. Now, John, along with Peter and James, were the only witnesses of the raising of, of the daughter of Jairus. Also, uh, they were the closest witnesses to the agony in Gethsemane. John was the one who reported to Jesus that they had forbidden a non-disciple non from casting out de uh, demons in Jesus' name. And which, if you remember, prompted Jesus to state, He who is not against us is on our side. He is for us. Now, John and Peter were the only two apostles sent by Jesus to make preparations for the final Passover meal, the Last Supper. During that meal, St. John sat next to Jesus, leaning on him rather than uh, lying along the other couches. John was the only one of the twelve apostles who did not forsake the Saviour in the hour of his passion. He stood faithfully at the foot of the cross when the Saviour uh, made him literally the guardian of his mother and our blessed mother. Now, after the assumption of Mary, John went to Ephesus according to church tradition. This is what we learn. He later became, he later was, um, was banished by the Roman authorities to a Greek island called Patmos. This is where he wrote the book of Revelation. It is said that St. John was banished in the late 1st century during the reign of the Emperor Domitian after being plunged literally into boiling oil in Rome and yet he suffered no injuries. It is also said that all those who witnessed the miracle in the Colosseum were converted then to Christianity. Emperor Domitian was known for his persecution, cruel persecution of uh, the Christians. Now John is known as the author of the Gospel of, of, the, of the book of St. John, the Gospel of John. 
He is also the author of four other books in the New Testament, the three epistles of John and also the book of Revelation. Now the authorship of the gospel is credited to the disciple whom Jesus loved and John chapter 21 verse 24 claims the gospel of John is based on the beloved disciple's testimony. However, the true authorship has been debated um, since the year 200. In his ecclesiastical history, the historian Eusebius states the first epistle of John and the gospel of John are agreed upon as written by John. Eusebius continues to state that the second and third epistle of John are not John the Apostles, it was written by somebody else. In the Gospel of John, the phrase the disciple whom Jesus loved or the phrase the beloved disciple is used five times but is not found in any other of his New Testament accounts of Jesus and that's what causes a certain doubt in the minds of scripture scholarship. Now, St. John is also called the Apostle of Charity, a virtue that he had learned from his divine master and which he constantly inculcated by word and example. Remember when we speak of caritas, we don't mean charity as in giving things, but caritas being love. So he was the apostle of love. The, the beloved disciple we know died in Ephesus, uh, which today is in modern day Turkey, uh, sometime after the year 98 AD. Um, and then a stately church was erected over his tomb. This was afterwards uh, converted into a, into a mosque. Now, St. John is the patron saint of love, caritas, love, of loyalty, of friendship and also of authors. He is often depicted in art as the author of the gospel with an eagle symbolizing the height he rose to in his gospel. In other icons, he is shown looking up to the heaven and dictating his gospel to his disciples. I want to say this today, if St. John uh, if today we celebrate the day of love and friendship, then really in the church today is Friendship Day. I know that very often we um, have a secular Friendship Day. But what about today being a Christian Friendship Day? So call up your friends today and say Happy Friendship Day. And they'll look at you, they might turn to you and say, I think you got the date wrong. And say, no, 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 I think you got the date wrong. Today is Friendship Day in the Catholic Church because St. John is the patron of friends. And that's your great way to evangelize to your friends, to your family. That way they know a little bit more about the faith. Yeah? And then you can also send them this link and say, you want to hear, hear more about this, uh, listen to 9 o'clock with Father Warner. I want to pray today in a very special way for several people. For Belmira from my parish, uh, who cares very much for the confirmation students. I want to pray for Kenneth. Kenneth used to be, many of you might remember, he was my former driver and he still continues to assist me in so many ways so happy birthday to you Kenneth and also for my friends Ives and Sabrina who are now in the US they were part of my group Ives was Ives Bent uh, he's the son of uh, Leon and Lorraine Bent I want to wish them on their wedding anniversary today but may I reserve uh, most of my prayers and love for my own parents today who celebrate today their 54th wedding anniversary in Goa as you remember dad went through quite a tough two years and this year, uh, thanks to the kindness of his doctors, um, he has been doing very well. When people ask me, how's your dad? I always tell them, well, he started driving his bike and his car. So that is an indicator of uh, how well he truly is. Happy wedding anniversary, mom and dad. God bless you. And to all of you, don't forget, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel. And to our donors of the Love, Joy, Hope Foundation for Children in Goa. I want to say thank you. Remember that you can always send us a donation either for the home or for this ministry. All you've got to do is indicate where you'd like to contribute to. Send me a WhatsApp message on 98202-42151. On behalf of my staff here, of Ryan and Wilson, of many of whom who have, of you have said, Father, also wish them. So I want to acknowledge that you have done that. I want to thank you continue to enjoy the season. I know we just had Christmas, uh, then yesterday 26th, we're still breathing in uh, the joy of the Christmas season um, and it brings a lot of light and love. I hope you had a good and a happy Christmas day. God bless you. Stay well.